what happens, particularly with Cherry and Dwight, is gut-wrenching. Very painful. <laughs> Very painful. <laughs> but fun. Yes, but it's great. Knowing it's the final season gives us the chance to decide how we end. Yeah, it feels good. Feels like we have some control. I think we're having a really great time, mixing with some sadness for sure. Like sometimes we'll just stop and look at each other and we're like, man, I'm really gonna miss you. And that, so that's that's hard. Other than that, we're having a great time. I feel like I'm 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 mid jog, and then like the oxygen just got turned off, and I'm like, Ugh! you know, like I love playing June. I love being in this universe. I love telling me stories and working with everyone. So it's a little bittersweet in that way. It's cool because the show reinvents itself kind of every year, and so to have a whole new visual landscape to continue the stories we were telling, but as our characters are changing, to then change the, the landscape they're in as they go through these changes towards the finale, it's been really cool. How they've come up with the different looks for the different walkers, the different zombies within That's the so different cool. environments. And we, you know, cool. this, this universe has been going for 12 years and they're, they're still coming up with walkers and you just kind of go, oh my God, look at that. They've had them melted in the floor. They've mm -hmm. had them coming out of walls. They've had them grown out of trees. They've had them burnt. They've had them drowned. There's, there's They've more had this them... season. They have those, the ones with the, you know, I can't oh, say, yeah, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it is, <laughs> it is constantly fascinating. So, mm -hmm. and Savannah, you know, gives us whole new options. We get, you know, ones with snakes Swamp. and ones with swamps and yeah. ones with gators. It's, it's, we got it all. Can you hear me? I need you to listen to me because I want to tell you something that a friend once told me. He said you can hide, but you can't run. He wanted me to know that hurt will follow you. It follows you wherever you go. He was right. In season four, um, Kim was in half of the season on that one, but I didn't get a chance to work with her. So that was one of the big pluses of this season was that, you know, I finally got to work with Kim Dickens and it was glorious. I can't tell you anything that we got up to because I'm not allowed to, but it was fantastic. It was a tick on my bucket list and we had a great, great time. Our characters have been through so many traumatic moments and it's formed them and changed them. It's been one of the most meaningful seasons from my experience of, of working with the actors and getting to work with actors I hadn't yet. And it's just a very 360 look at each of these characters of their past stories as they're bringing and watching the trauma, their past trauma drag over the coals of the present environment. And how does that change them and where do they land with that? There are so many stories to bring to fruition. There are so many characters to bring to a satisfying ending um, that isn't just who dies, who doesn't die. And I think that the job that our writers and showrunners have done is masterful. I think what happens, particularly with Cherry and Dwight, is gut-wrenching. Very painful. <laughs> Very painful. <laughs> but fun. Yes, but it's great. This is your second chance, Dad. She's right, Morgan. Rick, he gave you this gun for a reason. Use it. When I left Walking Dead to go over to Fear, I didn't feel the leaving of Walking Dead until it came around to the time of year when we would have been heading back to um, Atlanta to start shooting the next season. And I wasn't heading back there. I think when that comes around, I'm gonna be like, oh, where, where's that now? I do feel a sense of, you know, when I go to work each day, just gratitude and appreciation to to be in this world that has been just, I mean, so, I think, monumental on television and to work with such incredible people and to have a show that is just so fueled with by, by physicality and emotion and it's been really rewarding to play and I just, I, I, don't, I just feel really lucky. I'm happy that we'll get to talk about it all year long because the first half comes out in May, but then <laughs> yes. we still have the back half, which will come out later in the year. Yeah, we got time. And that's the thing that's keeping me going is like, I'll still get to be, you know, talking about the show like whenever the back half comes out later in the year and you know, that it'll be in my heart and it'll be on the tongue and, and sharing it with the fans, you know, it's like, okay, that's gonna, that's gonna float me through the year, you know, and then I'll probably have like culture shock. Like, <laughs> you know, when the last episode airs, then I'll be like, <gasps> don't run. I 
I love playing June and I'll play June anywhere if that uh, opportunity arises. I just feel like I'm still in it, you know? Like I'm, I, there's, I, I still feel like I have so much June to explore and I like the exploration of it. I would love to be able to continue doing that, you know? That'd be really fun. When I finish here <laughs> with you right now, I'm off to France to do the stuff with Norman over there. And then when I'm finished, I'm popping over to New Jersey to hook up with them over there to do that particular spin-off. So I'm just gonna be in all of them and you could tell everybody that. And then we're gonna bring back World Beyond and we're gonna be in that as well.